In this medium size video, we will quickly learn how to make your custom outline tracer like this. We will start from very basic and we will go as advanced as playing them in sync. For example, we are gonna start from very basic set of a DJ that we were working previously. Let's take a pause and analyze the composition to understand what exactly we were looking here. So we want our tracer to go like this, maybe outlined here, maybe outlined here. To make own custom outline tracer animation like this, we will be using Adobe After Effects. We will need a great yet free After Effects plugin called Saber from Video Copilot for this. Big love to Video Copilot and Andrew Kramer for everything. Download link given in the description below. Download and install before you dive in. Let's drop the picture into composition and then drop into composition. Let's right click anywhere and look for composition settings. Let's make sure this composition is 16 seconds. Let's turn the quality into full. Let's press right, new, solid. Let's name this solid a saber. Let's put color anything. Let's turn off the layer for now, yet let's keep it selected because we are gonna work on it. Let's select this solid. Let's select pen. Let's try to draw the mask where we want our saber to travel. It's a very important note. Your starting point and your path direction is very essential to set up directions. Two, we are done with creating our mask. Let's turn on the layer we're gonna drop an effect called Saber. Phew, don't panic, we're gonna get it right. Let's change the custom code into layer mask. There you go, we're halfway there. Let's make the start size to zero. Let's make sure the end size is 100. Let's make sure we're in the first frame. Let's turn on the keyframe for mask evolution. We're gonna select Saber and press U to see the active keyframes. We're gonna go to the last frame. We're gonna turn evolution into 1360 degree. So we're having our chasers traveling like this. Why did we make this composition 16 seconds? We will talk about this on our next video. Now let's get into more fascinating part by selecting presets from here. Let's check out the beautiful presets that came out with this plugin. These are very good starting point and you can always customize them. Try neon. This looks good, but I want something like a cyan, cyanish. Yeah, this looks good. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, let's go to render settings. Let's change the alpha mode to mask core. This will get rid of additional light spill, which will help in our case. Looks good, right? If you are liking this video, hit a like, maybe subscribe as well. Let's right click and change the composition setting. Let's rename the composition to outline one. Let's go to projects. Let's select this composition, press Ctrl D twice so that we, we get two copies. Let's make variations of this. So let's open both. Let's go to this comp. Let's disable this layer. Let's select this layer and press M so that we can see all the masks. Let's get rid of all the masks. This time we're gonna do some variation this one is gonna start from here this will go like this maybe travel across here take a spin then go all the way I am getting all messy with my mask in this project but you should be precise at your one let's turn on this layer now and it looks nice 
let's change the saber variation to something else maybe this time tuck 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 hey what's proton proton doesn't look good for this one let's look and see theme okay theme is nice let's maybe change the color to something mm, maybe like a like this kind of neon and maybe this one we might have some flicker let's put flicker percentage into 80 percent so this will be very much flickering one at least it's supposed to be yeah the light is flicking so for third comp let's do something else let's select this again let's close the eye for this layer let's select mask let's get rid of all the masks for our next variation let's select this layer get rid of this all these masks let's try to draw some masks using this tool we want to have our tracers inside our screen not right at the edge of the border okay so let's turn on this looks good but for this one let's try to have the start size 100 percent start offset is zero let's have n person 100 percent and in end offset maybe 25 that will get rid of half of the line so once we so so you know we already have our revolution set to one spin for 16 seconds so this is gonna spin to its previous position in 16 seconds let's get to quarter quality to have a quick preview of what's going on hey it looks good and hey this is just some ideas i'm trying to demonstrate as simply as possible you are highly recommended to go crazy as much as you can there's nothing wrong doing whatever inside a plugin let's say we can just mess up something see nothing happens you can always press ctrl z okay let's put this composition to render we're gonna press ctrl shift slash or command shift slash to queue them in render queue we're gonna do same for the rest of this for some reason adobe after effects requires to specify location here to even if you want to send it to media encoder thing we're gonna do now so here in adobe media encoder let's select them all change the format to dxv3 let's change the location to somewhere safe right inside your house maybe here in my desktop and pew let's fast forward as we render okay so let's drop let's get these clips and drop it into our resume like here let's see what's going on let's put them into serial let's put all these blending mods into 50 add because saber comes with a black background you need to mix down with the bottom layer let's see what's going on here we can see this one mixes with this one looks good how about we cut off one maybe add a tracer on top of that you can play them in bpm synchronized way we have a detailed video about making bpm synchronized visual on your own in our next video we will take this video and that video and blend them in multiply mode means we will play bpm synchronized outline tracers like this so stay with me